Hello and welcome back viewers. My name is Mkoli Singube. I'm here to answer a question from ZEP applicants. We have done the application process, paid the money and now they want to book their appointments but because of one reason or another the money that they deposited has still not shown on the application portal so they want to know what it is that they need to do for the money to show but before i go ahead and say and explain this may i request that you subscribe to this channel like this video and share it so that at least it benefits those who may not be watching right now or those who may not be having knowledge of the existence of this channel so that when we post next time they also will get the information from us in a manner that is not distorted because there's been an outcry that some of the information has gotten to people in a distorted manner or people have been paraphrasing that what we have seen what we have been saying and at the end of the day losing the meaning or exaggerating some of the things that we would have said so the question is uh based on people who have done the application process whether they did it themselves or they requested people to do it or to do it on their behalf some have gone to the internet cafes and they've been assisted there to apply they've been given the form that they need to take to the bank to pay but after paying they have not been able to book their appointments because the normal process is that after you have applied and been given the forms the first forms including the bank payment form you then go and pay at the bank and within 24 to 48 hours barring a weekend of course that uh, payment should show on the portal that you applied on but many people have paid some have gone for a month some have gone for even more uh, without that payment showing uh, on the application portal and without that payment showing one cannot then go ahead and book an appointment with the VFS for them to go and then uh, submit their documents. So a number of people have faced this kind of a challenge and they want to know if this is something normal and what they need to do with it. Uh, it's not something that we can say is normal because as I've said, it takes between 24 and 48 hours for your payment to show on the application portal and after that, you can then book your appointment you choose the date that you want which is most suitable for you to then go and submit your documents that are needed at the vfs offices we have therefore spoken to the vfs officials and they tell us that this is a problem that they've been encountering some of it is because people have gone to the banks they've paid but some of them have found uh, or have come across load shedding while at the banks and at the end of the day money has been transferred from some people's bank accounts there others have paid with no load shedding issues but still there's been no indication of that payment on the application portal and they want to know what it is that should happen so what you need to do is you need to send us uh, a message on 073 962 3075 073 962 3075 you send us a message a whatsapp message do not call us do not sms us because of the large volumes that of the large volumes of uh, messages that we get and phone calls that we get and we end up failing to respond to some of them or missing some calls and when we miss calls from numbers that we don't know we don't usually call back because of the large volumes as i have said or some misplaced calls wrong numbers so the best is for you to send us a message and then we'll send you 
the email address that you need to then send your inquiries to or that you can take to whoever applied for you to then send uh, a message to them it's a vfs uh, inform it's a vfs email address and we will tell you what is needed which is basically two things you need a reference when you apply you are given a reference for you to track your application you need that reference number and then you need to attach a copy uh, of your payment receipt that is the receipt that you got from the bank upon payment of the required amount for whatever you are applying for whether it's a visa or it's a waiver so these are the two things that you need then you add, you, you send that reference and attach a copy of the receipt that you got from the bank upon paying upon paying which is the proof of payment then you send it to the email address that you will get from us upon inquiry i hope this is clear for all of you please subscribe to this channel like this video and share it but also if you have a question that you need to ask or a challenge that you are facing in terms of applying for either a visa or a waiver feel free to send us questions via the comment section of this video which is underneath this video or you can send us a whatsapp message again on the given number thank you very much